Hey everybody, this is DM's Guide to Dragonlands, and I am about to take my first real look at Dragonlands Nexus's Tasselhoff's Pouches of Everything that is available on the Dragonlands Nexus website for free, and we're going to take a brief look at it right now. So, uh, for those of you who have uh, watched like the previous Dragonlance videos, we used to call this series Dragonlance for Fifth Edition, uh, and and part of uh, and and that, that it w wasn't a good name to begin with because that was only a part of really what we were doing was was kind of. Um, suggesting ideas into to kind of pushing this classic game into fifth edition uh and uh it, it turned out mostly to be like you know uh, kind of uh how to run it dm tips and that sort of thing i finally i wrestled with that stupid title for a long time and i finally decided just to change it to a dm's guide to fifth edition because I knew this was coming out. So, um, as of recording this, uh, Dragonlance Nexus has released the first three chapters of their Tasselhoff's Pouches of Everything. It is kind of a, your 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 campaign source book for for running Dragonlance in Fifth Edition. It is available for free at their website, and we're going to take a look at it today. I really do encourage you to uh, to. Check out Dragonlance Nexus. If this is, if you're watching this, then you clearly like this topic. And Dragonlance Nexus is really kind of my go-to place for information, um, uh, it, it, as well as like fifth edition information. A lot of what the things I use for my games, uh, my my game of Dragonlance, I get from them. And uh, and so I wholeheartedly recommend the website. I wholeheartedly recommend going to their patreon uh and this is like like i mean and, and i don't i don't know the ins and outs of of like the 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 uh wizards of the coast licensing agreement but a lot of their stuff you can actually use and publish in a book as long as you kind of do it through their channels with their okays and giving them part of the money dragon lance is not part of that. And so they had to get uh, special permission to even print this and they are they uh, they were not able to uh, uh to uh, charge for it or pay anyone for it, and so this really is a labor of love from everybody. And um, uh, I'm I I think they're 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 fine bunch over there, and so uh, I, I really do uh, hope that if you find value there, that you um, look into ways of supporting them. But let's let's get over to here. So like okay, so I'm opening up this PDF, and this is the first thing I see, and. Like, okay, so first of all, Lord Soth. Just one of the coolest D&D characters of all time. I love this image of him. And uh, and it, uh, like, legitimately, like, I, I had I had my screen in such a way that this, this I only saw the top part of this screen. And so I got, like, an audible chuckle as I'm scrolling down <laughs> to see Tasselhoff. And um, there is... Um, I noticed this. I noticed this. Uh, this section right here on the cover. Uncle Tasselhoff borrows a pouch from the Death Knight Lord Soth. He was surprised that somebody with a deadly reputation carelessly dropped such a valuable item. He'll definitely return it at a later time, um, uh, perhaps when this fearsome fo fellow isn't so dour. <laughs> Honestly, Soth should take a break from brooding uh, in in his haunted castle. Uh, <laughs> Those banshee wills really make it really uh, uh, make it difficult to concentrate. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say first of all, like, as you're going, f uh, you know, if anybody at Dragonlance Nexus is watching, I, you can't put too much of this stuff in here. <laughs> uh, I, I do, I do like, I, I do like the uh, the 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 sometimes. Um, uh, it, Buttings in of Tasselhoff, uh, like 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 here, you know that Tasselhoff just kind of takes over half of the uh, the forward page. Um, 
this is stuff that I, I really, uh, I, I, I like, I, I like, uh, I, I like, uh, you know, in the, 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 the official wizards books do stuff like this. And so, um, I, uh, I, I yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to, um, I, I there, I'm probably gonna do some videos in, in some, uh, you know, some like, uh, detailed stuff. But the, the first thing I wanted to look at is first kind of, kind of give, um, get just a look at some of these pages. Um, but, uh, it, it, and look at them in brief, but, um, did I miss the table of contents? That's something I do want to actually look at. Yeah, 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 here, here. Okay. All right. So right now what we have is the first three chapters. So this is going to be the races, the organizations and the player options. Um, I, uh, I, you know, I, I sent this, uh, so like I have a, I, I have a campaign going of Dragonlance, uh, that we play in fifth edition and I forwarded this to them as like, guys, if y'all want to look at it, uh, please do take a look, you know, for those who don't know the story of the Chronicles there, there are some potential spoilers, but not really many. And, um, uh, and, and, and ones of such that you, um, uh, you know, if, <laughs> It's it, like like some of the backgrounds of some of the races and, and that sort of thing um, that you, you you really need to know if you're creating characters, um, and so um, and, and 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 the question was posed to me. It's like okay, well yeah, so like what are we gonna do with this? It's like well actually not much, not much because we've already started. Uh, so this book, this section is going to be really really useful in character creation. Unfortunately, we're way past that, but it's still pretty, pretty cool. Um, and, uh, and so, um, I, I, you know, if, if this is something, if, if, if especially cause we're hearing so much about Dragonlance, um, if, uh, if, you know, if your group is looking to start a Dragonlance game, this is a must have, even if you're already going, or even if you're just a Dragonlance fan, you're going to find some interesting stuff in here. So, uh, the stuff we don't have. All right, is uh, racial weapons and equipment. It could be pretty interesting. It looks at a few pages of that. Uh, the the pantheon of Kryn. Um, uh, my my games um, I, are are really uh, and my games in general are are pretty. Um, I have active deities, and in Dragonlance they're very active. Okay, uh, and so uh, and so this this is going to be an important section, but um, I, I don't know how much that's going to that's going to um, you know just be informational or is actually going to change the way we approach things. Um, ambient ma uh, magic uh, of Kryn. Uh, this. This looks like it's going to be. Uh, this is going to be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, in, uh, you know, like mysticism, and sorcery, in 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 D and D fifth edition. Uh, like uh, how this works in Kryn, uh, I think it's going to be pretty great. Magical weapons and items, like uh, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these weapons are. Um, are critical to, to, you know, to, to even my game. And so will be very useful. Uh, the, the creatures, uh, it looks like a kind of a timeline and geography. Uh, so a lot of really good stuff to come, uh, stuff that, um, is, is going to be more useful as our campaign goes instead of just character creation. But th I think this is at least going to get us started. Um, going into races, this is sufficiently like, uh, succinct. I, uh, you know, I, they don't go on and on about this stuff and that's great. Um, look, you know, it's like, Hey, <laughs> hill dwarves. Hey, there's hill dwarves in the player's handbook. Why don't you go look it up? That's appropriate. Right. Uh, the, the, um, there, uh, we, you know, we, we, <laughs> if, if there's, if there's already a one-to-one, -one analogy in the regular player's handbook, then what we're, we're going to need to use that. Um, it's the, it's when we start getting into like gully dwarves, um, and, uh, and, and half dwarves that I think, uh, be really interesting. They have, uh, they have a lot of really cool, cool aspects of this. Um, you know, some, some of these, 
like fifth edition doesn't really do. I, I don't think fish, fifth edition does minuses at all in ability scores, and so we, you know, we keep the tradition here. Um, you know, it's it's jarring that like gully dwarfs don't have an intelligence decrease, but that's fifth edition. All right, that's that's fine. Uh, I, I I am happy that at least they kept the ability score since that's been the trend at Wizards of the Coast to get rid of those. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this pitiable as section, this, this is great. Uh, gully dwarves diplomacy consists of begging, crying, groveling, and pleading. And you have honed this ability to a fine art. I would love, like, I kind of want a gully dwarf in my party now. This is, uh, you know, you have advantage on, on charisma, just to role play this, you know, um, uh, in disadvantage on saving throws made to resist the effects of fear. I, I think it'd be really challenging. I, it's going to be chal um, it, it's challenging to play a character that's stupid in, in, in any ways. But a, a really good player could pull that off really well. And um, uh, I'm, I'm one of those firm believers in that it, it takes a very smart player to play a dumb character. Um, but role playing that out but in the cowardly thing it's going to be even it's going to be even harder to play that considering how many fear roles are in dragon lance in the begin to begin with um a, a lot of cool stuff in there um the elves you know the uh so the you know like the Kaganesti, you know just hey these are wood elves Qualanesti, these are the high elves uh Sylvanesti, uh, we're doing still the high elves, um, and then filling in some stuff where we don't have a one-to-one -one, um, correspondence with the with the uh, uh, in in the player's handback book, which is great. Um, gnomes, we're going more into detail uh, with the tinker uh, uh, tinker gnomes here. Um, half gnomes, goblins. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I, I really, uh, I was interested in like all the different races of humans that I thought were, were pretty cool. Uh, some great, great, great images there. I love these. Um, <laughs> the, the afflicted kinder test says sad kinder frowny face. Oh, I love it. Um, this is one of the, this, okay. So let me get here. Okay. The kinder pouch grab. This is something that is going into my game immediately that, as uh, I, I uh, where what was it? What was it? It was. I don't think I, I don't think we need to burn that much time. It was like it was like as a boat. Um, okay, here it is. As an action, you can make a roll to the Kinder pouches table to see what's in your pouches, um, and you one through D one hundred. You uh, you roll on this. Um, and I think this is, this is great. Um, it's so random. A lot of these are so much fun. And I was, uh, I was, uh, I was, I thought this was a lot of fun. So, um, details on all of, all of these other ones. Hey, oh, by the way, this Triconian. Nice, 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 nice. Um, other races. There's a lot of race options here. Um, I <laughs> I love this owl here. It it kind of looks like uh, they're told like, "Hey, pose for the picture," and the the warrior looks all high and noble like, and the owl thinks that we're looking at the camera. Uh, I by the way, I love this image. I think this is so much fun. Uh, organizations. This is this I think is really really cool. So um, the different um, the different uh, the the various types of organizations in. Um, in the game are really going to draw on the uh, the renown system from the Dungeon Master's Guide, which I have ignored uh, up until now. But now I'm really going to to look at it. Uh, I think it's pretty darn cool. Um, just various different uh, orders, organizations that you can um, you can join, you can be part of. Uh, and different motivations, different abilities, just different way, ways that are, it's going to affect your character. I think that uh, there's a lot of cool detail in here um, that 
uh, that I, I think are, I think are pretty neat, you know, um, Knights and Dragons subclasses, um, the, uh, different uh different different types of archetypes there's a lot of really really cool stuff here uh of course uh the the uh knights of slomnia uh different the ranks for uh, for different things special roles that you can get um I was looking mostly. And let's let's go ahead and uh, it's obviously like uh, like even these these three chapters are forty six pages long, so we're, we're not going to be able to like look at detail on all of these. I I don't have a knight in my party. I do have um um I do have a uh, a wizard, and so I did jump over here and I um. There's this uh, order. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, order secrets section. I didn't actually mean to highlight that, but I did. There we go. Um, so, depending on your renown, you might be let in on different secrets of your particular order, and these are different kind of powers that you can draw on that are super cool. Um, uh, secret of betrayal in the in the black robes. Uh, you've learned the power um, as a bonus action. You can create a spell slot by siphoning the life force of one creature within five feet who is friendly to you. Um, so you can like, hey, you run. You just ran out of second level spell slots, and I need those. But that that fighter's got a lot of hit points. It can actually suck their life force out. Um, it's sort of like second level, you know, second level spell, spell slot, two d six that you're causing necrotic damage to. Uh, the they can make a Constitution save against your spells DC. So man, this um, this whole this this kind of stuff adds a whole new dimension to to your battles, which I think is I think is really really cool. Uh, there's there's a lot of these that um, are are uh, are pretty neat, and so there are different types of wizards that you can kind of get into. Like red robes can uh, be dream shapers, uh, the um, uh, uh, white robed elves, griffin wizards. Which, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a grit? I mean, come on, that's. That's that's freaking rad. Renegade hunters, sea mage. These are um, there's a lot of really neat options here. So um, uh, the player options just add a couple of things that that can uh, can be added. The the hand uh, handler background, which is basically you grew up in a kinder society and so you don't know how to function as an adult. I mean, paraphrasing, um, but. Uh, you know, different different backgrounds that actually might fit your character better than the traditional 5e ones. Um, um, yeah, uh, just a, a, a few more feats that could be use, uh, useful. The ones that I really liked is new warlock patrons. Uh, a dragon overlord could be your patron be pretty interesting uh the, uh the fallen tower this one i thought was fascinating the forest master as um yeah i yeah i forest master's patron would be pretty rad or lord soth himself um pretty interesting ideas i that um that i I, I'm really interesting, interested in. So uh, that kind of gets us <laughs> scrolling quickly to the end of our uh, our main section here. And so I am looking forward to reading more of this. I uh, uh, to, to to Dragonlance Nexus. Uh, this is this is fin this is great. The um, I, I'm. Uh, th 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 this is doing exactly what we wanted to do and kind of sparking the imagination. See, you know, giving us new ideas on where to go and where to take our characters. Um, and so I am looking forward to more. 
And um, I, I do encourage uh, encourage all of you who are interested in Dragonlance, go ahead and pick this up. The link will be in the in the notes. Uh, go ahead and pick this up. It is um, it's it's fantastic work. Uh, thank y'all so much for doing this. Um, uh, and uh, and so yeah. Um, if uh, if you are enjoying uh, the content on this channel, I would um, humbly request that you uh, hit the 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 like, subscribe, and uh, bell icon uh, below. Um, we uh, I do have uh, do have a couple of other D and D related and Dragonlance related videos in the hopper. I wanted to get these this out first, but uh, trying been uh, trying to record a little bit ahead of time, so I have some more coming out very very soon. On this channel, we deal with D and D, particularly Dragonlance uh, and video game music, and so. If you like those things, you're in the right place. Please do consider subscribing, and we will catch you next time. All right, see you.